Hey everybody, Renegade68 here with some more Let's Play Danganronpa 2 Goodbye to Spare Blind. Just loaded up the game and it said we're still in daily life, because you know, this is so normal, right? Like, look at how normal this gameplay is. Um, jeez. Final Dead Room, I definitely have to check that out, but not at the moment. First, talking. <laughs> it makes sense that you're by the bathrooms. This building is peculiar. Look at the inside of this bathroom. I can't take a peaceful shit like this. What? Can you even shit now? Preventing me from taking a good shit. This house is certainly defective. What? Okay, bathroom and bathroom. No, female one. I want to go in the female one. You can't stop me from going in the female. Fuck you, Nekomaru. I'm going in the female one and there's nothing you can do about it. Fuck. Okay, fine. Fine. Bathroom. Looks like this is a bathroom. Every time I see a bathroom, I get this lonely feeling. Shit. When the world is my constipation gonna be fixed? <laughs> what? Wow. Um, I feel sorry for your loss. Clock! It's a wall clock. A wall clock above the bathroom door? Jeez, what kind of placement is that? Well, that's not necessarily wrong. It's just. Um. Let's see here. We got Nagito over here. Oh, hey, whoa. Turn? Are you a Monokuma? You're not a Monokuma. I kind of hoped you counted as a Monokuma doll. Then I know where they all are. But no, it's too good to be true. What's up with you, Nagito? <laughs> Everyone's a symbol of hope. They're all completely different compared to a quitter like me. I, what? Stop hating yourself, really. Someone like me? I'm terribly sorry that someone like me is forced to be with everyone like this. Well, uh, yeah, good talking to you, Nagito. It's always a fun time. It's always great. It's always your weird. Huh? Is there anything you want to say to me? No, nothing. Possibilities in zero. I do think that's extremely close to zero, but it's never going to be zero, no matter what. Until we have proof. You mean. Uh. Sorry, Hajime. Honestly, the possibilities in zero that you're the traitor. You freaky freak freak freaky freak. Jeez. What about you, Chiaki? Do you think I'm a traitor? What happened? Did you get tired again? Nope. I was just thinking, why strawberry? Uh, why is that? Mm. Personally, I think tangerines are totally fine too. Or even fruits like peaches and apples. Personally, bananas are like the best fruit. When I first had them way back when, I used to think as a kid they were dairy products. Because I'm like, these are too good. You can't call these fruits. They taste way too good to be fruits. <laughs> uh, I, like, that was my thought process. If something tastes good, it is dairy. <laughs> that was my thought process as a child. Um... But, uh, and I still think bananas are, like, really, really tasty. The only really, really tasty fruit. But, I know this fruit would have been fine. Hey, hey. Then why strawberry? Who knows? Yep. Such a mystery. The most mysterious mystery there is. What was that conversation just now? <laughs> what was the point of it? Okay, camera. I see you. But do you see me? I don't know. Where's the monitor? There's gotta be a monitor. I gotta see that, too. Monitor! Ah! Monitor used to do me with us. The future of the vibe, but So, if I remember correctly, the place we have to go is, um, that right there. The Strawberry Tower. Um, so if I went over here, what would it say? Elevator. What the fuck? An elevator? Oh, and this has a yellow... What? Isn't that the grapes from the phone? Can I, can I examine this? No, not yet. Um, okay. What's through here? What's through there? Strawberry Hall. I'm not going to mess with that yet. That's last. Final Dead Room. This door looks like it gives off a different vibe compared to everything else. Final Dead Room? Allow me to explain. Um, okay. The Final Dead Room is a challenge given to you by Headmaster Monokuma. Only those who win the life-threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the Octagon, the fabled holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. If you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life to continue living... You should challenge the final dead room! Life-threatening game? What the hell is that? Did you just say I can obtain the ultimate weapon if I win? How stupid. Who the hell is gonna do that? Me. I'll do it. I'll do it! 
Are we really not going to examine inside? You know what's going to fucking happen? Somebody else is going to go in there. They're going to beat the, the room. They're going to get the ultimate weapon. And they're going to be like, oh, hey, I'm going to kill somebody. Really? I mean, come on. Especially if it's like like ultimate weapon like Soul Edge from Soul Calibur. It just makes them evil. It fills them with evil thoughts. And then that murder is going to occur. Because you didn't bother to get Soul Edge, Hajime. You know? I mean, you're not the best of heart either. What if we get someone with a good heart? Like, um... I don't know. Shit, I was gonna say Sonya, but she's not a virgin, is she? Because, <laughs> you know, you have to be a virgin, right? Um, I don't know. Nobody here has a good heart. Whatever. If we get Nekomar, because he's made of metal, right? So he doesn't feel heart stuff? I don't know. He can get the soul edge, and we'll all be good. Um, maybe. Elevator. Okay, let's do this. Isn't this an elevator? But that's weird. The only stairs are between this building, the second and third floor. Does this mean there's a basement? Yeah, because there was no elevator on the other floors, which means this can't possibly go to those floors. So, I guess there must be a basement? Or an attic, or something. Button next to the door. It's that same great button as the telephone. Well, I have enough to press it. Without really thinking about it, I tried pressing the button, but... It's not reacting at all. Is it out of order? Don't really get it, but it looks like this elevator isn't usable. God, are you, you're really constipated, aren't you? Um, if I had to guess, I'd say... One of these places, like the door, or even maybe the dead room, is like the way out, and it'll only really open if, um, uh, 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 someone dies. The dead room might actually be a real thing, but, um, the elevator might, uh, I'm guessing, if it doesn't open, then it probably is what leads us outside. Anyways, final dead room place sounds suspicious, but going inside may be, might be a little dangerous. Monokuma did mention a life-threatening game. Huh? It's not even worth playing if all you got after winning is a weapon. Oh! Now then, the others should be at Strawberry Tower, at the far back of Strawberry Hall. Show some spirit! Let's get going already! Well, uh, way to nudge me towards where I'm going. Since it had red exclamation points in the places with Fuyuhiko's team and Sonya's team, does that mean, um, uh, if I went to the tower first, I'd have to come back to those? I don't know. But I'm about to find out. Oh god. There's gonna be a fucking Monokuma hidden here, isn't there? There's gonna be just one of these things on the wall. It's totally gonna be a Monokuma, isn't it? I'm looking around, I'm looking around. Let's see here. Uh, hiding Monokuma, where are you? Monokuma! I know you're out there. Maybe not. Uh, what's this say? Strawberry Hall door. Corner of the map, Strawberry Tower is on the other side of the door. There's no door knob. There's no way we can open the door like this. Maybe you just have to press the button that's next to the door? You know, the one that has open written on it? No, too simple. <laughs> I wonder what that means. It's funny. It's spelled just like the word open. I... Wait. Seriously? Huh? Anyway, I just have to press this button then? Hopefully it'll actually open the door, unlike doing this other thing this weird word says. Open? Like, what is that? Nekomar raised his right arm and vigorously slammed the button more times than he needed to. It only made one slamming noise. It should make multiple. It should be like bam, 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 bam. Okay, so this is Strawberry Tower. I'm guessing there's another side to this place that's like the Grape Tower or whatever. The building is shaped like a huge circle, plus the ceiling is so high I can't really make it out. Sheesh! More of these bright red decorations. What terrible taste! Huh? Well, with a name like Strawberry Tower, I guess the terrible decorations are intentional. That's right, this is Strawberry Tower, right? Then why... Why do I see something that doesn't match the strawberry theme at all? The grapes? Is what you're talking about, I guess? Uh, let's see here. I'm looking around, I'm looking around, looking or No! Whoa, what? Oh! Oh, I thought this was a place I move around in. It's not at all. Okay. Um. So there's. Whoa, wait, what? I can just examine the wall? Since when can I just examine the wall? That is weird. Okay, um. Alright. I guess I'll start with the illustration and end with the door. There's a picture on the floor. Tusami's face. She has a strawberry in her mouth. Even this is strawberry themed, huh? Well, at least it's not an illustration of Monokuma. That would've been so much cooler. Um, and then what do we got? We got the pillars and then the walls. Let's talk first. No, actually talk later. Wall first, because this is weirder. Along the tower floor, there appears to be many lights built into the floor illuminating the wall. The lights are all red. Let's see, because of these lights, the walls and interior design of the tower look red. And with these lights, they're able to create the designs on the wall. However, because these lights are shining on the walls, the ceiling is pretty dark and I can't really see it. Um, uh, maybe there's some trick to the ceiling. Maybe we're in a dungeon. And if we go up, it's how we get out. 
Along the tower floor, there appears to be many lights built into the floor illuminating the wall. Is this the same thing? This is the same thing. Uh, pillar? 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 Pillar. On both sides of the door in the far back stand two huge pillars. Perhaps, without thinking, I turned around and checked behind me. Just as I thought, there are pillars. Or gateposts on both sides of the door Nekomaran entered from. It appears they're standing face to face with the other pair. Um, okay, and then we've got this pillar as well. Uh, same thing? Alright. Uh, and then Nekomaru, what's up? Huh? Such terrible taste! Well, if Monokuma did the decorating, it's a given this place would have terrible taste. Oh, come on now! Monokuma's a great decorator! I really like all the class child setups. I say, hoping Monokuma doesn't kill me. Take him, not me! You already started, just finish what you started! No, I'm just kidding. Take Akane, not him! Um... Yeah. Huge door at the far back of the tower, but there's a grape image on it. I thought this was Strawberry Tower? I guess I should probably just make that clear now. Um, now that Hyoko's gone, and now that Fuyuhiko's kind of reformed, the character I most want to die next is would be Akane. If anyone has to die, and I'm pretty sure someone does, it'd be Akane. Because, I mean, really. I know it's another girl, but, but like, seriously. For one thing, she's a shoe in for, for Asahina from the first game, and... I mean, I just... Out of all the characters, I dislike her the most, I guess. Yeah. Anyways, Strawberry Tower. But it's not. This image is grapes. Doesn't it match the one on the lounge phone and also the one we found near the first floor elevator? Oh? Perhaps the door might be the exit. Exit? Huh? Take a look at the map you received from Monokuma. I see. There's a door at the far back of Strawberry Tower, but nothing is going on the other side of that door. Probably because it's a different section of the same kind of funhouse. Like, there's two sections. One is the strawberries and one is the grapes. And grapes are pretty good. I'd say next to bananas, they're probably my favorite fruit. Doesn't this mean the exit is on the other side of this door? Don't go getting your hopes up. Let's try to confirm by opening this door! Nekomar let out a battle cry, grabbed the door out tightly with both hands, attempted to pry open the door and failed, right? However... Clatter, 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 clatter. What does this mean? The doorknob won't budge, not even one bit. Maybe it has something to do with the buttons from earlier? Maybe like we pressed both at once or something? It can't be something as stupid as someone has to die because... Unless grapes is like Japanese for escape or something because... I would think it's just another part of the funhouse. I think. Is it locked? Shit, it appears to be locked tight. Show some spirit! I shall use my full power! Ooh! With a fierce war, Nekomaru put all his power into grabbing the door off with both hands. Use a Kamehameha! Use a Frankie Koop to burst! But... Better yet, use a Koop to boo! Which is perfect for you! Because you like pooping and shit. That, get it? Shit, pooping and shit? Oh yeah. <laughs> Not yet. Here it comes. The incredible strength of one million horsepower! I don't think it's working. Isn't it creaking? If you break off the doorknob, we'll be stuck in here. Oh, that would be bad! So should we discuss this with everyone else before you uh, attempt to force your way through? I see. You have a point. Oh. Very well then. Even though the door would have opened soon, I'll give it a rest. Let's go back to Strawberry House and discuss this with everyone. And what the fuck is going to happen? Are we going to have free time here or something? Is there really going to be a murder in here before we get out? That'd be weird. And when do we get that Monokuma doll? If the listener would have to say that is. Okay. Um, sure. So I'm guessing once someone dies is when we're going to be able to find the like thing with our profiles and ship parts and stuff. Anyways, is it just me or does it seem rowdy by the elevator over there? Did something happen? Maybe like they pressed the buttons at the same time? Where are they? Oh, hey, everybody. Even Monokuma's over there. Holy shit. So can I go in here yet? Like, I want to go in. I want to go in. Looks like everyone's causing a scene. Even Monokuma is here. Um, okay, no. I'm going to take this chance. Taking this chance. I'm going to go up. No, fuck you. I'm gonna go get the Monokuma doll. Fuck you, man. Fuck you, man. Fuck you, man. What's up, Nagito? Hajime. I was waiting for you, you know. Why were you waiting for me? Um... Monokuma said he'll be presenting something when everyone's here. Monokuma said that? Well, okay. I'll talk to him last, then. Um... What's up with you, Nakamura? Still off the shit? He's glaring at the bathroom with eyes full of abnormal malice. Is he really that upset that he can't take a shit? <laughs> uh... Beautiful. Just beautiful. 
So can I eventually go in here or what? Is that why like it's giving me that thing? Because it gave me that thing earlier, so I'm assuming I can eventually go in there. Okay, let's go left or right. Uh, let's start with the person I dislike the most. Hi, Akane. Hey, hey. Is so he alright? I think he was trying to flirt with me. Were you? Fuck you, man. <laughs> Woman, you should really pay attention to what the hell is going on with other people's feelings. And also, if anyone's flirting with you, it's just because you have big boobs. Don't take it to heart. You, you, cause, cause they don't care about your heart or your personality. It's just your boobs. Oh, that's fine. Oh, okay. I think that was flirting. Ah, oh, jeez. Soda cans. What's up with you? Apparently, Monokuma has something to say. Well, I'll talk to him last. Uh, how about you, Fuyuhiko? All right, what's up? Did you tell Conan what you wanted to say. Damn right. Pretty sure she didn't want to hear hear it, but I'm the only person who could say it. <laughs> I don't think she even really paid attention, but okay. Well, you know what's funny about Monokuma being here? I'm not sure if the Vita can do it because I haven't really looked into all its functions yet. But I know on at least the like, um, wait, no, this it this. This isn't the Vita, this is the TV. I know at least on the original Vita, I don't know about the TV, I should say, because I'm using the TV. I know recently on the original Vita, you can actually take pictures and stuff. So, you know I'm here, how she's saying she could never catch a picture of Monokuma? Like, I totally could. And there'd be nothing you could do about it. But, um, I'll talk to him last. Gundam. You fiend. Where were you, I swear, making an overload wait. That was close. This won't happen a second time, correct? No, no, definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely nothing like Gundam's Destiny ever again! Okay. Um... Hajime, were you safe? You know, except for the fact they made the reboot of Gundam's Destiny. Damn. Actually, it would've been good if it was a reboot. Instead of just the fucking HD remaster. I would've loved a reboot, but nope. They just did a remaster for no point. Nobody likes Destiny. Anyways. I... Apparently, Monokuma has something to say, but I have an odd feeling about this. I only have a bad feeling about this. Like, when, if, when it involves Monokuma, when is it not a bad feeling? What's up with you, Chiaki? Well... Apparently, Monokuma has something to say. Yeah, he's not gonna tell us another one's together. Probably something terrible again. Mm. Terrible. Be much better if it was just terrible. <laughs> oh, don't say that. Um, can I check the elevator? Looks like everyone's causing a scene. You want to come see here? Something happened? Well, I don't know. I'm over by the elevator. All right, fine, Monokuma. What's up? Hiya. How are you guys doing? <laughs> we able to get a general idea of Strawberry House's side? Huh? Sorry, House's side. Oh, right, the Grape House now, right? Strange thing to say, it sounds like there are other buildings. Of course! That's why there's this thing called a contact elevator! Let me ask. Contact elevator, you say? Oh, I bet it's not even uh, up and down. It's like side to side or whatever. Hey! Hey! You know it's an elevator. It's a big mistake to think that moves vertically. Ah, uh, yep, knew it. This is an elevator that travels along a rail. So you're moving horizontally as easy as pie. Then, does this elevator go to a different building? Yep. That's right, to Grape House. Huh? Grape House. Hey, um... The Fun House is an enormous building that's made up of other buildings. See ya later! We can worry about the details when we get to Grape House. I'll be going ahead! Huh? I don't really get it, but you just wanted to tell us to go to Grape House this time, right? I believe that is what we gather from that, yes. Um... And that we must ride the elevator, right? Yes, it doesn't go up and down, it goes side to side, no, which way, it's the Wonka Raider. Mm. Are we screwed? Although, this doesn't go every which way, I don't think. Unless it does, and there's like multiple paths. This probably is how we get outside. I was right, the elevator, just not quite what I was saying before. Anyways, what should we do? Show some spirit! Exactly, show some spirit. The only way we can overcome the situation is to make a move! I mean... Still, you know. <laughs> you scared? Of course not! Of course I am! Uh, I mean, why are you saying that in front of Miss Sonya? Yeah, if you weren't saying in front of Miss Sonya, I'd say hell yes, but no, of course not. I'm a man. Huh? Now that I know she's not a virgin, I have to be super duper big man <laughs> I'll fucking go, hey, I'm not scared at all. Oh, what, you, you swearing now that uh, Fuyuhiko's given up it for the most part? I don't have it as bad as soda cans, but I do have a bad feeling about this. We can't just stand here and do nothing. Alright, let's go. When I press the great button next to the door, it immediately opened. Oh boy. How many rooms is there gonna be? Is it just gonna be strawberry and grape, or are there gonna be like multiple? Like, how much longer is this uh, investigation part gonna be? Alright. Oh boy. This is kinda like the elevator, you know, to the Monokuma trial, but not quite the same. Is this already moving? Hmm. If so, that'd be awesome. How so? 
Hey. It's not vibrating at all, right? It's probably a really high performance elevator if it's not vibrating all that much. Hmm. Maybe it's not actually moving. All right, let's open the door and make sure. Ah, uh, no. You must not. That is way too dangerous. Exactly. Jeez, always doing stupid things to get everyone fucking killed. At least I'll see you in the first game. New boundaries. Like, she was kind of, kind of ditzy, but she didn't go, I'm going to go all out and punch things and kill things. And on a similar vein, as far as fighting goes, um, uh, uh, Sakura definitely knew when to control herself, especially because she was the spy. But, and also for fighting, Awada was kind of a punk, but he realized, you know, to make sure, you know, that he didn't get get killed for no reason that he would abide by the rules but you're just fucking stupid you're gonna get everyone killed that's why we need you to die uh just staying inside the vibration free elevator it's not just because she's my least favorite it's also be the most practical eventually the door in front of us suddenly opened he appears to have arrived at our destination oh boy oh i see something to the left i see something that looks like a person anyway is this a grape house no matter where I look, everything is plastered with great patterns. Oh boy. I was already fed up with the strawberry patterns, but this is also unpleasant. Welcome! Welcome to Grape House! Is that Sakura? It looks like it might be Sakura. Oh my god, is that supposed to be Sakura? Why is there, there a sculpture of Sakura here? What is going on? I mean, I knew this case was starting to get into the stuff from the past game, but... Like, is it really going super deep into it, or what? Allow me to explain the Grape House! What? This is Grape House in its entirety! Oh boy, similar to the, fir to, the, to the first house we saw, the Strawberry House, but definitely different. Let's start explaining the first floor. Okay, aside from the fact that there's no final dead room, it's basically no different than the Strawberry, strawberry House. Just like uh, how there's a strawberry hall over there, there's a grape hall on this side. And when you go through the grape hall, that means there's a grape tower. The second floor of grape house is the same as the second floor of the strawberry house. There's even another Monokuma doll. That, that's right, all five. There you go. Prepare five guest rooms of different types along with a relaxing lounge. In other words, we now have enough rooms for um, everyone to sleep in so it's entirely possible we're just going to be sleeping in here. In fact, I'm going to guess right now we're going to be sleeping in here. Anyways. Main attraction on Cape Cross is obviously the third floor. Monokuma Archive! Everyone loves the Monokuma Archive! If you want to know about my proud accomplishments and contributions, feel free to study the literature here. Does that have to do with the first game? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hmm. Now then, this concludes the door, but I believe it would be difficult to understand by just explaining with words. You should all use your own two feet to check out the inside of the building. Hmm? That's all for me! Any questions? Love. Why is there a sculpture of Sakura? Like, I'm starting to get hungry. Where's the food anyway? There is none. Is that necessary? Hey! But what are you saying? Of course it is! <laughs> it's supposed to be an escape game. How can there be any tension if there's no time limit? So I've decided to use your stomachs as the time limit! Don't tell me! In other words, I kind of assumed this is what was gonna happen. It's made even worse by the fact these are like food houses. Um, we're not gonna get any food until we get out, which means someone has to die. Wow. He's never went to this extreme before. In other words... Simply put, <laughs> it means kill someone before you starve to death! Now that's a motive I've ever heard one. Like, this is the first real motive, in my opinion. Like, every motive so far, in the first game, in this, and even so far in this game, well, like, I've seen those motives and been like, those would not face me. I would not kill someone over that. The first game, what did it have? It had a monitor with uh, parents, you know, dead, maybe, possibly. Maybe, we won't even know. That wouldn't make me kill someone. Like, I could just be falling for their trap. The second case um, had embarrassing secrets to be revealed. I mean, honestly, I don't care. I've learned at this point that just let people know who you are. I mean, maybe if I'd killed someone, it'd be a different story. But um, case three had a bunch of money. Like, what are you going to do with money if... Yeah, I mean, no, I wouldn't do it for money. Case four... Um, uh, what? Case four's motive was just Sakura herself. Case five didn't really have a motive. Um, skip to this game. Case one's motive was uh, getting back your memories. I wouldn't care about that. Case two motive was the game. Even if I was involved in it, I probably would try to be uninvolved. Case three was the fucking despair disease, which is probably the dumbest motive yet. 
Um, I think it would have been better if it was just everything opposites. The whole re remembering thing is kind of a, honestly, a, a dumb plot device. Um, but I feel like they could have done a smarter uh, motive for case three. But uh, ignoring all that, now that we're at this, this is like the first real legit motive that everyone is going to consider killing over. Doesn't matter who you are, you will consider killing now. Anyways. Lies. What the heck? <laughs> Plan to kill someone at when you make your kill as soon as possible before you get hungry. <laughs> Be too late if you get so weak you have no energy to kill. Hey! Hold on! What? Starve? Damn it! How much more of this do we have to take until he's satisfied? Was he serious about there being no food? I don't want that! That's the one thing I don't want! Well, good. Kill her! She's the most likely to kill one of us, right? So let's kill her. I'm not starving as long as I can eat! Just let me eat already! What?! Oh, I get it. She doesn't mind the feeling of starving as long as she can have the feeling of eating, right? Sheesh! As soon as she learned there was no food, she was overcome by hunger. Sessions are truly annoying. Fool! At least try to stay calm. Now's another time for you to panic! Hey. Well, being loud here isn't going to help us, so for now, we should explore the inside of this building, too. That sounds like a plan. Right? Maybe there's statues of everyone in, from the first game, or maybe everyone who died, or I don't know. After all, if you don't give up, you're sure to find hope. Isn't that right, Fuihiko? Huh? Yeah, that's right. Why are you talking to Fuihiko? All right. Let's get started. The same pairing as before is fine, right? Hey, hey, hey! Hold on, this time around, I really want to pair up with Miss Sonya. Like... She already left with Gundam. Oh, oh wow. Mm. Looks like you're being avoided, not just rejected. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Soda Cans. I really am. I'm sorry for thinking you were the killer in the second and third case. Although in the third case, you were like my backup killer. Like, the main reason I even considered you was because really, we're going to lose three girls in a row? Five girls in a row, to be technical. Hey. Soda Cans, I understand that you're feeling down, but we better get going. Damn right. You too, Kane. How much longer are you going to stay shocked? Let's go. With heavy steps, everyone left to explore Grave House. Then... Where should we start? Since we're on the first floor, it might be okay if we start with Grape Tower. I see. You're saying you're going to start with the most suspicious place. <laughs> well, let's start with Grape Tower! Show some spirit! Yeah! Anyway, let's find the exit. Damn it, there's no way I'm going to let myself starve to death in here. So that means you're going to kill someone? <laughs> Um, alright, so let's check. If I were to check the map, what's it look like now? Um, we got the exit over there. Great tower has an important thing. We've got the second floor. Nobody's on the second floor? Weird. And then, nobody's on the third floor? Doubly weird. I can go to the third floor though, right? Oh, and this is the strawberry house. Nobody's in the strawberry house. Is Wait, who? What the hell? Well, look at that! Is that supposed to be somebody in the grape house? That's weird as fuck. I, is that supposed... You guys saw that, right? What the fuck is that? I don't know. Anyways, um, I want to finish with that this time. Yeah, I'm definitely going to finish with it this time around. Surveillance camera. Surveillance camera! The future funded ba 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 doo dab doo doo. Um, and then let's see. There's gonna be a monitor somewhere. Where's the monitor? Where's the monitor? I'm gonna look at that soccer statue in a second. Where's the monitor? Where's the fucking monitor? You can't hide from me, monitor. Monitor. Ah! Monitor. 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 Yeah, gotcha. So the monitor used to communicate with. Da, 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 da. Okay, got them both now. Now that that's out of the way. Bronze statue. That is definitely Sakura. Might even have a nameplate. Ogre! Oh, Jesus. Fuck you, Monokuma. Um, who is this Monokuma this time? It can't be Junko. I wonder... Man. Maybe it's... I, maybe it is my my theory from earlier. Maybe it's like Byaki all along. He's not even dead. Or or this was like the son of Byaki and we're super in the future. I don't know. Um, um, can I get in the bathrooms this time? I get, let's check the clock. It's a wall clock. Since there's no windows or Monokuma announcement, I have to rely on the clock to know what time it is. So there's a bathroom here as well. Gross, I still cannot shit. That's the only downside to this body. Well, darn. Uh, 
Um, let's see. So we can go up the stairs. We can go to Great Paul. That's where they want us to go. So I don't want to go there right now. First, we'll talk. What's up, Fuyuhiko? Starving us, like, seems pretty straightforward for Monokuma. Is that the full sentence? Starving us, like, seems pretty straightforward for Monokuma? Is there a typo there or not? <laughs> Starving us, like, totally seems pretty straightforward for Monokuma. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. I'm assuming it's a typo. Damn it. Starving us, like, this seems pretty straightforward for Monokuma. I'm gonna assume he said something like that. Piece of shit. How dare you pull such a dirty trick on civilians? <laughs> yeah, because you're a civilian. Um, and then Akane. It's on your mind. I'm starting to get pumped up! Look at that statue. I'm starting to feel a little excited. What's that mean? Why is there a statue like that in a place like this? I'm gonna do it! Is this creature inside the building? I don't think so. This is probably in the hall just just to garnish it. Huh? Garnish? <sighs> you mean like food garnish? Is this food? Is it tasty? It's not food, it's just decoration. Um, speaking of which, uh, Nekamaru, and then I'll check, uh, over. <gasps> Rape House, I know this place has terrible taste as well. Well, it's time. The most, the most awe-inspiring thing in the room. What the hell? What is this muscular bronze statue? It's probably an ornament, but it doesn't fit the ambience at all. Uh, there's a name written on here. Ogre? Does that mean it's a statue of an ogre? Why is it wearing a sailor uniform? This, this is Sakura. Sakura Ogami. It still feels weird calling her Sakura. Just, I don't know. So is to Naruto's Sakura. It's just weird. It's just weird. Okay. Um, can we go upstairs? Uh, I want to try to avoid the Great Tower if I can. What are you doing? My first turn is to my GPI. I get it already. Don't shout so loud. <laughs> Shouting no longer hurts my throat. I'm more worried about my ears. Okay, before that, then at least, let's at least check the elevator. What happened? Are you planning to go watch Strawberry House? Okay. All the groaning. I get it. Charge the Grape Tower. Um, isn't it just going to also lead us back to Strawberry Place? Isn't that how it works? Monokumas? 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 They're less... They're less... They're, they're, they're less hard... They're less easy to hide in this place, I think. But still. Don't see any. Grape Hall door. Let's press the button. Grape Tower's going to this door, right? Wouldn't Great Tower be the same as Strawberry Tower? Am I crazy? Um, okay. I need to press this button. Show some spirit! Leave it to me! Omar raised his voice and vigorously slammed the button more times than he needed to, of course. <gasps> Is that opening? That's weird. We were at Strawberry Hall, this should have opened. Um, I'm assuming it's because this is just gonna lead to Strawberry Tower because they're like the same place? <gasps> or this. I don't know. I mean, I assume. I don't think this leads to the exit. I think it just loops back around. Tell me it's out of order. Find time for it to break down! It obviously shouldn't. Did you hear something? And that's when Nekomaru started shouting. Shouting? What do you mean, started shouting? I don't really get it. Um, did it open a response to Nekomaru's awesomeness? Like his robotness? I don't know. Door opened. Maybe. Maybe that's the key. We need to get close to him. Be friends with him. Get to commit murder. What was that pause just now? Why didn't the door open right away? I see. This is Grape Tower. Hmm. The structure of this building doesn't seem all that different compared to Strawberry Tower. You're right. The building is the same circular shape, and the ceiling is just as high and hard to make out. <clears throat> this wall is green. Strawberry Tower's wall is red. So I guess they're not the same room. So where do they lead? Speaking of different, there's something blatantly different over there. Uh, Alright, so I guess I'll start with the uh, same exact shit I did before. Illustration. Picture of the four who saw his face with grapes in her mouth. It feels different from Strawberry Tower. The assume my picture over there had a strawberry in her mouth. What's truly different? Uh, what, what's truly different? I don't know what's truly different. What is truly different? I don't know. Anyways, along the tower floor, there appears to be many lights built into the floor illuminating the wall. Lights are all green. Because of these lights, the walls and interior design of the tower look green. And with the lights, they're able to create designs in the wall. However, because of these lights are shining on the walls, the ceiling is pretty dark and I can't really see it. Um, so let's see the pillar now. Both sides of the door are face two huge pillars. When I turn around, they're again. No other pillar. They appear to standing face to face with the two bobbies. It's the same as try. I guess the other pillars are both sides of the And I'm assuming I get the same kind of reaction. 
from this. And then I get the same kind of reaction from this. Uh, okay, what about you, Nakamaru? Why did Grape's Hall door not open sooner? It probably has some kind of link to the strawberry door. That or it's linked to the button. Like, uh, the, the telephone button or whatever over at the, you know, maybe it, like, opens the door. I don't know. Maybe. Um, although maybe the, actually, the telephone probably calls to the other side, doesn't it? Probably. So never mind. I mean, that's just one thing that might have happened, though. Anyways, it's definitely strange. Well, the building's existence is a mystery. All right, the door. The door's open. The Grape Tower door at the far back. There's a strawberry image on there. Mm. Strawberry door inside Grape Tower. That sounds complicated. It's like the opposite of Strawberry Tower. Yet there are clearly different rooms, I think. Unless they're the same room. And they're just lighted differently depending on which side you come in from. Like, maybe that's why it took a while to open the door. Maybe they are the same room. Anyways, as I recall, there should have been a grape image on the far back door, strawberry uh -huh. tower. So on the strawberry side, there's a grape door, and on the grape side, there's a strawberry door. It's even more complicated! <laughs> this time, this door might connect to the outside! I see. Obvious by looking at this map, since there's nothing beyond the far back door of Grape House. Yeah. That's all the only thing we can do is try it! Hold it. Oh? Heard what you guys were discussing. It'd be pointless to even try, I think. What? Why that? Yeah, exactly why. And what happened to your team of Nikito and friggin' uh, soda cans? Did you ditch them? Before we get to that, why are you here, Chiaki? Yeah, weren't you with Nikito and soda cans? And did you leave soda cans alone with Nikito? Mm. It's exhausting to be around those two. <laughs> you like me better? So you ran away. Alright, so what's up, Chiaki? Well... Door doesn't lead outside. I think it's pointless to even try it out. Definitely. And why is that? You say? Definitely? Why? Turn for chalk to be that certain. Yep. I have a good reason for that. I think I found out the secret of the funhouse's structure. The secret of the structure? Want me to tell you? Do you want me to explain it to you? Um, sure. Pay close attention to each house's relationship to its respective tower. Hey, hey. First, try to remember the first floor of Strawberry House. From the elevator, Strawberry Hall is on your left-hand side, right? Yeah. And if you walk along it, you'll end up at Strawberry Tower, right? It's probably the same room, isn't it? See? The other hand, Grape House. From the elevator, Grape Hall is on your right-hand side, right? Yes, it is. If you walk along it, you'll end up at Grape Tower. Um... Here comes the main point with those two buildings. Whoa! So you're here all along? Oh god. Hey, hey! They showed up. Jock, you don't go run off on your own! Hey. Disappeared so suddenly I was worried about you. Yeah, yeah, right. Then again, you did say you wanted to talk to Chiaki about something, I think. What was that about? Yeah. Hey, Soda Cans and Nagato. You it's your disappearance I was left alone with Nagato! The crazy son of a bitch! Man. Was that was it that annoying to you? <laughs> it wasn't annoying for him, it was just scary, probably. Because you know, you have tried to kill people in the past. That's right! Hell yeah, Wes, I don't want to be alone with a creep like you! This is troubling. So it's not just Hajime, you don't trust me either, huh, Soda Cans? I think anyone trusting you fully would be crazy. Hey. Are you okay? Have you stopped trusting other humans? Uh, what? Shut up! Shut up! Well, yeah, thanks to you, bastard! <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh, you all came. Oh, okay. Cool. Hm. Good timing. We didn't have to waste any time gathering people. Huh? That was quick. I thought your investigation would take more time. Well, yeah. There aren't many areas to search. We didn't find any good clues. What about the Monokuma library thing? Damn it. Really, the only thing I found out is... I... I don't get this at all. But seriously, no food anywhere. This ain't funny at all. Damn it. I heard that's super painful to die from starvation. Before that happens, why don't we, you know, the hamsters that Gundam carried around? You went to learn, fool. Why are you playing? <laughs> oh, God, no. Last resort, maybe, but that might be a motive for Gundam to kill. Like, you fool! You'd kill my hamsters? Fuck you! I'll let them live if it means my death. Ah! I'm sorry! That was close. You should be grateful to Sonya, otherwise I would've killed you! If you'd gotten your hands on my four-dark Dave's destruction, your body would be incinerated by hellfire. Hey, hey. But are the hamsters gonna be okay without food? 
I shall engulf this world. Fortunately, the flowers blooming in Strawberry House Indoor Park are cursed flowers from Hell's Garden. As long as those seeds are there, the four Dark Days of Destruction shall not lose a single hit point. <laughs> uh, I thought you weren't into games. I don't know. Like, it doesn't say games in your interest. It says games in Ibuki's interest! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm relieved to hear that. Oh. Let's listen to your reports and see what you guys have found out. Personally, I'd rather let Shaka continue her talk, but, eh. Oh, I should listen to whatever else to say. Now then. It's fine if Gundam, Fuihiko, and I represent our terms and give the reports. Um, okay. Damn right. I don't mind. <laughs> Rejoice, mongrels. I've discovered something that you fiends will be happy to hear about. Of course. Yes, our team's discovery is number one. We shall not lose. I think their priorities are off slightly. 